This video series was assembled using footage we recorded in 2006 while we were learning to use our then new camcorder. We hope it'll give you some idea of what liveaboard life was like for us in Honolulu before we took off cruising. And we're headed for the fuel dock, which is much more than just a place to get gas or diesel fuel for your boat. can often be an adventure. Lots of fun just watching people come in and tie up. But it's also a comfortable place to hang out and I'm getting kind of thirsty so we'll pop in and get a nice cold drink. Have a seat out here in the shade and watch the action. of essential stuff. Wandering. Book exchange. Surfboard medals. And now, there's a nice area out here to sit and hang out. You're not allowed to drink on the premises, but uh, that is not alcohol, but at least we can sit here and have a cold water and or a soda and uh, enjoy the view. It's usually fun watching people pull in and fuel up, especially on the weekends. Well, that was a nice refreshing stop at the fuel dock. And these are some of their uh, fuel dock slips. And now we're going to go over to the 800 row, which is where, they, uh, where our new slip is going to be. But first, standing here at the fuel dock, we're just going to pan around Look down the row, 700 row, and look at all those condemned slips that can't be used. Alawai Boat Harbor has the only free parking in Waikiki. And this area right here, this tiny little beach park, where all the surfers gather to get in the water for go out and surf Kaisers. And the Kaisers, surf spot named for uh, Kaiser Hospital, which was torn down 20 years ago and replaced by the uh, Hawaii Prince Hotel. But they still call the surf spot Kaisers. You may have heard of some of these surf spots uh, Point Panic, located at the entrance to Kewalo Basin. Bowls, right out in front of the uh, bowling greens in Alamoa Park. And the next one down here is Kaiser's. Moving down the beach, the next breakdown would be uh, Canoes, Old Man's, and so forth down the Waikiki Beach Strip. But this is the first one right here. And very popular because of the free parking because there's a little quiet little beach park here with a little bit of shade. And just about every weekend in the summertime when the surf is up out here on the south side, this beach will be very crowded. Locals coming down here to spend the weekend and do what one of the most important and popular activities in Hawaii, surfing. Early morning, this is a place where people come in and get their pre-work uh, surfing in, come out, catch a few waves before work, pack up, head to the office or wherever. And then along about 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the afternoon, People start showing up again to catch a few waves after work before they go home. And our new slip is going to be out here on the 800 row, which runs out along the breakwater. It's going to be all the way out at the end next to Wikuke. Do that again. <laughs> I 
Cliff and I thought I'd do the day before the Tin Man. Ah, how was the workout? Testing those clip-ons, boy, to the fullest. Okay, the girls are getting ready, preparing for their uh, triathlon tomorrow. Is this see Bree? supposed to go on? What? I, is this working? I don't know, man. Is this is the right how, one? <laughs> why are you asking me that? Oh, Ow! Ow! Oh, I, I think that it's sideways. What? I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> the People's Race, the short version of the Ironman, inspired back in 1979 by the Ironman Triathlon in Kona. And here we are today, 26 years later, celebrating the People's Race. We are in the phase of the bike transition into the 10 kilometer run, the third and final leg of this great Tin Man Triathlon. Leah Seal sealed the deal, sealed her fate, just under the 240 mark. And we're talking about Laura Wong Rose. <laughs> and so Laura and Leah swam, biked, and ran their triathlon with our friend surfer Joe Teipel doing the announcing. Afterward, the girls celebrated. Leah went back home to Victoria, and we moved Leah Leah out to the 800 row. You know, so this is the neighborhood, Yalawai Boat Harbor. And a scene from the deck of the Ilikai Hotel. Here are the tour buses. Oh well much quieter out there on the 800 wall.